The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have a quick update regarding the Team Hero sets that are now in the game. We have a new month. It is December, which means new Team Heroes as well. If you go in here, guys, the first thing that you're going to see is the new Man of the Month. And that is Cam Chancellor. He is a 95 overall Probably the best safety in the game right now. I think he's quite a bit better than some of the other guys like the Bob Sanders of the world. Uh, and and honestly, guys, he's six foot three as well, which is something that not a lot of the other safeties have. Big hit power, big play recognition, all those types of things. He is an absolute freaking monster, guys. And what it's going to take for you to actually get the man of the month, just like last month, it's going to take 50 of the team hero badges. Now, there are obviously 32 NFL teams. So what you're going to want to do here, guys, is you're going to want to go in and take a look at the ones that are going to help your team the most. If any of these 88 overall players would help your team, you're probably going to want to complete those sets. But other than that, you're going to want to go in here and try and identify the ones that are going to be the cheapest. Now, a lot of times you're going to find players like, let's say a, well, a right tackle is probably a bad example because there aren't a lot of good right tackles in the game right now. But let's go down here and let's just say, um, yeah, let's just say Tyrell Williams, for example. Okay. There's a lot of really good receivers in the game right now. So there's a possibility that Tyrell Williams might be a, a lower priced card to actually complete. Uh, some of the other ones, let's see here. Uh, Ronald Leary. Okay, let's just say, for example, left guard. It's an offensive line position, so a lot of times people just don't invest a lot in the offensive line. So you might be able to finish the Cowboys one for a little bit cheaper. So what you want might want to consider doing if you're just looking for the Cam Chancellor is just repeatedly finishing one or two or three of the ones that are cheapest to complete. Something to consider as far as a strategy to get this thing done. Now, one of the players that I skipped over a little bit here that I think people are going to be pretty excited about is... The Terrell Pryor Senior. This is an 88 overall card, and this is probably, I think, I think it's his best card right now. I don't, I can't think of anyone that would have been better. But an 88 overall, six foot five wide receiver. Yeah, we definitely like to see that. This is going to be a nice card to have, guys. Obviously, it's not going to be on the auction block because you can't purchase it, but it's going to be a nice one to complete. I highly recommend trying this one out, especially if you're running kind of more of a budget team. You might be able to complete this for a decent price and get yourself a pretty nice wide receiver. So with that said, guys, there's a couple other things that came into the game today as well. We've got some new Football Outsiders cards as well. One of the big ones was Colin Kaepernick. Now, Kaepernick is a player that obviously a lot of people have a problem with, with what he's doing off the field or, I guess, on the sidelines with kneeling during the National Anthem. But if you actually take a look at this card that he got, he got an 84 overall football outsiders, and I think a lot of people would kind of like this card. It has 85 speed, which is obviously a huge advantage, and they've changed that glitch that you were getting before where your quarterback would have a tough time running to his right out of the backfield. He would sometimes get that weird glitch. They fixed that, supposedly. I haven't really seen it happen so I'm assuming that it is fixed so that is a big advantage obviously because Kaepernick's going to be able to take off and run a little bit easier now but he also has really nice throwing attributes for the most part 90 for a throw power now his throw accuracy deep admittedly is only a 79 that is not particularly good that's like a base Marcus Mariota card uh so that's really not anything spectacular but he does have decent throw accuracy short and and throw accuracy mid as well it's not great by any means but for the most part he's going to complete most of the passes the other thing is that he does have an 87 throw on the run so if you're somebody that likes to scramble with your quarterback Colin Kaepernick is a very very good option I think he's a, a really good player and he's definitely somebody that you're going to want to go in and take a look at now the final thing that I wanted to show you guys today is this brand new Justin Houston card that recently came out so we're gonna have to change it here I believe it's a 91 overall it's a football Outsiders card. Yep, there it is. It's going for about 300,000 coins right now on the PlayStation 4. And this thing is a freaking beast, guys. 84 speed at the defensive end position, or, or excuse me, the outside linebacker position with 88 acceleration, 91 block shed. He's got 89 for a hit power, but if you want to really see what he is great at, it doesn't really show it here on the simple back of the card. You've got to go through here, and you've got to take a look a little bit deeper at the attributes, and you're going to see that his power move is a 94 with an 84 for a finesse move. So he has a combination of pass rushing attributes that are better than most of the cards in the game. His 90 
94 is among the absolute best, if it's not the best currently in the game. I'm trying to think of if anyone has anything higher than that as far as a power move goes, or even a finesse move. Uh, but the 84 and the 94 combination is a freaking monster of a card, man. This is going to be a really nice pass rusher. So if you're somebody that plays a 4-3, you're going to want to probably put this card at defensive end if you go out there and acquire it. But obviously, if you run a 3-4, you can rush him off the edge and get some good pressure with him. So again, guys, that is going to be your updated video. There are a bunch of other football outsiders that came out today as well, but these are really the highlighted ones in my personal opinion. The Kaepernick is pretty easy to pull if you pull any packs, and obviously the Justin Houston is a freaking monster as well. So that is going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, let me know in the comments section below who is, besides maybe Terrell Pryor, because I think a lot of people are going to say him, besides Terrell Pryor, who is your favorite team hero that came out today? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.